Hello boys and girls. I hope you don't have hemophobia because in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to give yourself a nosebleed. Yep, there's no way in hell that YouTube's going to be letting me monetize this bullshit. Queries of the interweb. How's it going guys? Joel here and I amusingly answer questions that are searched for every single day on the internet. I want to give a thank you to Samuel Atencio2 for suggesting this video. You've done something good with your life. Be proud. Now there's some obvious ways you can give yourself a bloody nose. You could walk into a door, you could punch yourself in the face, or you could just start snorting coke. But I care about your well-being. So I'm going to show you three ways to give yourself a bloody nose that are the least painful ways that at least I could find. Now keep in mind that a self-induced nosebleed might not work for everyone. I've never had a nosebleed in my life, at least not naturally. I've been hit in the nose and then I've bled, but I've never just started bleeding from the nose profusely. And the reason for that is because I'm not a weak piece of shit like you. So this first method to get yourself a nosebleed is excessive nose picking. Okay, I know some of you already do this. Charlie. If your name is Charlie and you pick your nose a lot, you're probably gonna get a nosebleed at some point. If you pick your nose excessively, there's a chance that you'll rupture the blood vessels in your nose and you'll start bleeding. Be careful with this one, you don't want to shove your fingers down too deep into your nose. So if you're gonna take the nose fingering method, tread lightly. The second method for how to get a bloody nose is to blow your nose really, really hard. If you're trying to get a bloody nose fast, this can be an effective method. Again, you don't want to hurt yourself, but you want to blow pretty hard and pretty long. Don't play that last sentence out of context. I know some of you have sick minds. This third way to give yourself a bloody nose is to dry your nose out. If you can dry out your nose, you can very well trigger your nosebleed. So how do you dry out your nose? Well, there's several things you can do. You can breathe in cold air. Go to your freezer and just inhale. Use your hair dryer or your blow dryer or whatever dryer you have in your house. Don't shove your head in the dryer. That might not work. Except for you, Charlie. You can shove your head in the dryer and nobody, nobody will stop you. Friggin' Charlie. There are also some nasal decongestants which also clear out noses when you have a cold. You could try using one of those just to dry out your nose. So now that you know how to give yourself a nosebleed, I want to hear from you, but not really. So if you have a video idea for me to do next, go ahead and leave it in the comments because researching ideas gets, uh, it just gets hard for me and I'm lazy and I just want my ideas spoon fed to me in the comments. My social media links are below my face if you want to stalk me, if you want to get more horrible advice that will ruin your life, you can watch these videos over here. And if you want to see somebody who's seriously failing at life, you can look in the mirror. 